Okay, so there's a lot of algebra in the AS Maths course, and we need to make sure that you're up to speed, and you need to really focus on getting your algebra really, really good so that it doesn't hold you up later on. So if there's anything in these next few videos that you're not sure of, make sure you go away and you practice it and remember what you did from last year. Okay, so factorising and completing the square today. We've got this equation, x squared plus 3x minus 4. We're going to factorise and solve it. So we've got the two brackets with the x's in the front, so that when they multiply out we get the x squared. Now the two numbers in the brackets, they've got to multiply to make the minus 4 and add to make the 3. That would be a 4 and a minus 1. So when that multiplies out we get the minus 4 and the 3. Now if those two brackets are multiplying to make 0, that means that one or both of them has to be 0. So we look at those possibilities to find our solution. So that gives us x equals minus 4 and x equals 1. These are called the roots of the equation. So if you're asked to find the roots, that means just solve it. Okay, next one, we have a number in front of the x squared. Now, there are lots of different methods of doing this. I'll show you the way that I go through it. But if you do it in a different method, that's no problem. So, first of all, take the first and last um, numbers there, the 2 and the 6. Multiply them together to make 12. Now we want to find two numbers that multiply to make 12 and add to make 7. So that would be a 4 and a 3. And then you split up that 7x into the 4x and the 3x. So the 4 times 3 would make the 12. The 4 plus 3 makes the 7. Now that's easier to factorise. So we can see we can take out 2x from those first two terms and we get x plus 2. And we can take 3 out of the last two terms and we get... Um, 3 and x plus 2. Then we're going to collect up the 2x and the 3 as well because those x plus 2 terms match. So now we have our two factors quite nicely and easily and we can go on to solve from there. So either the first one equals 0 or the second one does and we get our two solutions, our two roots of that equation. Okay, let's have a look at another. So we've got x squared plus 2x equals 0. This time we don't have a constant term at the end, so this is a nice easy one. We can just take out the x. we just got to make sure that we don't lose that x in solving it. We do still need to count x equals 0 as one of the solutions. And then, of course, the other one is x equals minus 2. Okay, this one is just a teensy bit more tricky because we need to rearrange it into the order that we're used to. So we want to um, factorise a quadratic once it's in the order where the powers of x are ascending. So it's called in ascending powers of x. So we just rearrange that. We want our x squared term to be positive, so move it over to the right hand side. And then we're just going to put it in the order that we're used to seeing it. Now we can factorise that one quite easily. Uh, minus 5 and minus 1 multiplies to make 5 and adds to make minus 6, and then solve from there. You don't have to write out each solution separately. You can write them as a list like that with a comma between each solution. Okay, how about this one? We need two numbers that multiply to make minus 1 and add to make minus 6. That's not going to work, is it? So we can't factorise that one, but we can do completing the square. So when you can't factorise, you should try completing the square. You also might get specific questions that ask you to put things in a particular format that requires completing the square. So you mustn't skip this. You, you must be able to do completing the square. Don't assume that you can use quadratic formula on it, anything. OK, so completing the square means we want a bracket that's going to be squared. And it has to equal this original equation, but just in a different form. So we need the x in there to make the x squared, and we half that middle term to make the other part of the bracket. Okay, then over by the side, work out what that would give you. So x minus 3 squared looks like this. If we multiply that out, we would get this. Now it's almost like the equation we've got, except the 9 doesn't match the minus 1. So we need to make it work. The x minus 3 all squared gives us 
a plus 9 and we need to bring that down to minus 1. So we need to take off 10 from that x minus 3 squared to make it equivalent to being a minus 1 at the end. Now from there we can go on and solve it quite nicely, just rearranging it like you would do with any equation. And remember when you're square rooting to include the plus and minus roots. And there you've got your two, two solutions. X is um, either 3 plus the square root of 10 or 3 minus the square root of 10. If you need to work out the decimals, you can, but usually we can use that in, leave that in third form. And we'll talk about thirds a bit later on. Okay, now this one again has got a number in front of the x squared. Now you can't do completing the square whilst that's happening, so we need to get rid of that first. Or oh, I should put that a bit more specifically. Sometimes you can, and sometimes you leave the number in there, but they're more complicated examples we'll have a look at much later on. For this purpose, we're going to take out that 2 as a factor, just of those first two terms, leave the 7 alone. Now we'll do completing the square on that part there, so take the x and half of the 4, put that into the bracket. Over at the side, work out what that is. Now, we only actually want those first bits, so that's given us 4 too many, so we need to take off that 4. Then from there, we'll multiply out those brackets and simplify our equation, and then start rearranging to solve. And once you get to here, that, that's enough for, for the time being, but we would usually write this like this. And again, that's thirds, and we'll look at that a bit more later on. And if you need the decimals, perhaps maybe you're needing to plot some solutions, then you might need to work out those decimals.